Question number 63 says in a growing population of a country. So, when it is a growing population, you can say it is an expanding population which is shown by the developing countries and the type of pyramid which is shown that is triangular shape. So, let us make this triangular shape pyramid. In this condition, maximum number of individuals, they are present in pre-reproductive age group. Right? Moderate number reproductive age group. And least number is in the post reproductive age group. So, now we can look at the options. So, coming to the option number 4, reproductive and pre reproductive individuals are equal in number. No, this is wrong. Pre reproductive individuals are less. No, maximum number is of pre reproductive individuals. Reproductive individuals are less than the post reproductive individuals. No, it is reverse. Pre reproductive individuals are maximum and they are more than reproductive individuals. So, the right answer for this question is option number 1. So, now let us move on to question number 64 now. Every year one question is there from interactions. So, now let us see what question number 64 says. Which one of the following population interactions is widely used in medical science for the production of antibiotics? Now, answer to this question is option number 3, amensalism. Amensalism is a type of interaction in which chemicals they are secreted by an organism and it inhibits the growth of another organism in the nearby area. So, it is a type of interaction where organism A secrete chemicals, yes, which kills organisms, another organism in the nearby area, right. So, this is a type of interaction where B is negatively affected and if we talk about A, it is neither badly affected nor it is positively affected. So, it is a zero negative interaction and one of the best example for this is penicillium. Penicillium secretes antibiotics. Yes, this fungi secrete antibiotic that is penicillin. And this penicillin has the ability to kill gram positive bacteria. If we write one example here that is staphylococcus. Right? So, the right answer for this question is option number 3. So, now let us move on to the question number 65 now. In question number 65, we have to match column 1 and 2. First of all, eutrophication. Now, eutrophication means nutrient enrichment of water body. Now, if we talk about sanitary landfills, sanitary landfills, they are for degradation of biodegradable waste. Yes, it is for disposal of biodegradable waste. What we do in this uh, pit is formed. Yes, and in the pit, biodegradable waste is dumped and then it is covered with the help of soil and decomposition, composting will occur which will change the waste into manure. So, sanitary land fills, it goes with waste disposal. Snow blindness, it occurs due to absorption of UVB rays by the cornea. So, snow blindness goes with UVB radiation, zoom cultivation, which is also known as shifting cultivation or slash and burn cultivation. Now, in the case of shifting cultivation, a land, a forest land is used for growing of agricultural crops. For few years crops they are grown in this area then after some time to replenish that area with the nutrients that area is left like this so that it can rebounce there and then we move on to the another area for cultivation. Now, nowadays what is happening, this recovery period is not given due to which nutrient content of that area is decreasing which is leading to deforestation. So, zoom cultivation is responsible for deforestation because nowadays recovery period is not given for rebouncing of that area. So, the right answer for this question is eutrophication with 3. Sanitary land fit false, no blindness with this. So, the right answer for this question is option number 4. Right? So, now let us move on to question number 66 now. 